Hi, in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Selenium web driver for Chrome. Um, we're going to then demonstrate how this sets up in a Java document. Okay, so we're going to start by learning what version of Chrome we have. You need to go to your help about Chrome and then look at the version. I'm currently in 98. It's real important you know the right version so that you get the right driver. Once you do that, you're going to search for Chrome Selenium driver. Um, go to chromedriver.chromium.org. And as you see, you've got a variety of choices. Pick the version that supports what you have. Pick your operating system. And extract it. Now, it's really important where you extract this to. You need to know where this goes. So I'm going to put mine in my C drive in a folder called Selenium. You can put it wherever you want. The trick is you got to know where it is and you want the path to be easy to type. So when I look at this folder, I see I've got Chrome driver, I've got an old version, Chrome driver 96, and I've got an old Gecko driver. Gecko driver is the Firefox driver. If you don't like Chrome, you can run this in Firefox. I just am stuck with Chrome. And I'm going to leave Chrome driver named as it is for now. Don't need this anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to go to pretty vanilla Java test documents um, using Maven. I am in the test. I took out their vanilla test they had. And I added in a setup and a closed down test. Um, before I need to get anything else working, I need to add Selenium dependency to my palm. So I'm going to add a dependency. And I'm going to look for Selenium Java. As usual, 20 up here. You want to get the one from org.seleniumhq.selenium. That's the the owners of Selenium. It's currently a version 4.12. Of course, your version will change depending on where you're at. Save. I've got my Visual Studio code to automatically update when I save my palm. Uh, most likely, a dialog box will appear down here. Say yes, or always. Okay, so now I need to put in some... Imports. I've already modified this org.jm to star, so I don't run into problems later. I need to import org.openqa.selenium. If that doesn't drop for you like mine did, your palm didn't update correctly. And if that's the case, run a clean or something to that effect. How was my spell ORG, right? So we're installing at least these two. Uh, more might come later, depending on what you're doing with it. So now we need to build what's usually called the driver. The driver is what runs the browser. Public static web driver. And I'm going to call it driver. That's consistent with most of the online documentation you run through. Some of my students have renamed that to be browser or Chrome, whatever works for you. All right, so it's created. We now need to set it up. Setting up means linking it to the driver we just downloaded, um, telling Java that we're going to use this driver, and then just for fun, opening a web page. So I'm going to use set property. And the property I'm going to set is webdriver.chrome.driver. And the value is where it lives on your hard drive. If you're bad at typing, be smart. You can copy the URL and paste it in. And then just make sure you have the double slashes for your escape sequences. All right, so that sets up the location. We now need to make driver mean something. Driver equal new Chrome driver. This links it to C colon Selenium Chrome driver. And now we need to load something. I'll open up my website because I own it. And if we've done everything correctly, I want to run my test. 
my website will pop up in all its purple glory. Ah, I need a test. So let me create a test. So it's just a smoke test to make sure I got this right. If I don't have this right, no sense moving on. So let me try this again. I even test. Chrome driver started successfully. It launches. There we are. This is me. There's me again. My angry face. My wife, daughter, son, etc. Okay, so it works. Typically, when I build one of these things, I will make sure that I close it here. If I don't, um, every time you run your test, you'll have a Chrome window open. You know that it's, uh, that's not good for your RAM. So, let's run it one more time, make sure it closes. Maybe even test. It opens, there I am, it closes. All right, so you've learned today how to install Selenium for Java and write a simple Java test. If you prefer XUnit, if you prefer Python, this setup I did today with the install is all you need to do to get running there. In other videos, I'll demonstrate how to do this in XUnit and in Python. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck.